Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at SampleBot, a new app from a tasty pixel uh, and developer Michael Tyson, who is the genius, who is uh, partly responsible for Audiobus team, uh, along with Sebastian Dittman, and also Loopy and Loopy HD, which you'll probably all know very well. So he's a very, very, very nice chap and a very, very clever guy. And this is excellent. I mean, this gives you 15 pads, basically. And then you can record literally anything you want onto each of those pads. You can import sounds from elsewhere. You can record into them from Audio Bus, or you can just tap and record anything you like. This kick, snare, and hi hat are just reference pads uh, for you to say set up a beat, which I'll show you quickly. Um, <clears throat> they can be used for anything, el anything else. They react exactly the same as the other pads do. So basically, to get this to start to record, all you need to do is touch the pad and it will, as soon as it hears sound, it will record. So for instance, okay, so that's what I've called. Let's do this one. Doom, 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 doom. I did a really good impression of a hi hat then. So let's see, see if I can do a snare. Okay, so. So you get the idea. Now, if you didn't get your timing right, it, it makes no difference whatsoever. Now, you see here, because I accidentally touched that pad, it was recording. So you get the idea. Now, if you didn't get your timing right, it, it makes no difference whatsoever. Now, you see here. So let's delete that. Now, to access your editing, you can just swipe it like this, and you can either delete it or you can edit it. Now, the cool thing here is we can trim it. Okay. We can pan it. All right. So trim. Uh, happy with that. We can rename it if we want to, and it's done. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, so once we're happy, we can record a little beat, you know. So just let's hit record here. Dum, 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 dum. Stop. Now you see this flashes down here. Then <clears throat> that means that you can now go to your timeline here and see what you recorded. And you can see we recorded about four bars. Well, let's hit the loop button here and that will... Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, so dum 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 dum. Now, if you want to see the the snare track or the hi hat track, you just hit this and it will expand the little rhythm section. But like I said, you can record literally anything you want. You do not need to use those three tracks for a snare, a kick, or a hi hat. It's just it's useful to set up a um. A what's it now you can delete here and it's any any time you want you can you can delete or you can and it's it's representative sort of thing of the actual length of the sample so i know that i got hi-hats in here so we could do this that hi-hat sound that i recorded the one that sounded really like a hi-hat so you can put them in anywhere you like and you can expand as well okay so you could then Boom. And it doesn't stop there, right? I don't like that. So, for instance, okay, let's say, let's hit the lasso here and we'll just lasso it all. And we get the option to delete, copy, or quantize, or we could copy it and paste it somewhere else. So, let's just delete it. The cool thing is that once you've recorded your little vocal samples or, or whatever, you can then, if you want to not record your own, you just want to set something up basic to start with. If you hit this little drum here, it gives you a load of basic patterns. So let's choose the, 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 the simple, oh no, let's choose like a funk groove, okay, or or scar for instance, let's choose scar. 
we just tap that there and you will see that it will put in a scar groove for you so we can take that down to there because the scar groove is too and then we can copy and paste copy and paste but let's see what that sounds like eh? Doom, 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 doom. so everyone's not going to want to want to use their thing so here's, here's sorry that's export so let's get, delete that again and i'll show you something else it's super super duper cool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bin the samples from 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 that pack okay now what i want to show you now is how you can import your own sounds from like audio share okay so if we open audio share You'll see that I've got some drum kit samples here. Uh, so we'll start with a kick sample where somewhere down here. That's very nice. So what I'm going to do is just tap, stop right there. That's just running through the samples. I'm going to export this into copy to sample bot. And it says tap pad to import. And there we go. It's done. So that's a bit loud, so I'll just turn the volume down a little bit. Of course, we can edit the, the actual sound. Doesn't quite need to be that long, actually. That'll do. Trim that. And we'll leave it as kick because it's a kick. And let's go to snare. So let's go back to audio share. And uh, let's put a snare in. I think there's a snare here. Yeah, that'll do it. So we'll just uh, select that snare. And uh, put that in. And we'll put that into the snare. And again, we'll just do for the hats. So you find the hat wave. That'll do. That's quite a nice one. Copy to sample bot. I will. Thank you. And again, we can do exactly the same thing with that. We could put our pattern in for whatever drum. Let's pick, uh, say, our men break. just do this properly let me clear all that delete let me choose the arm and break here and just tap that in so you see how that works now after we've done this, you can go even further if you want to. You can build up your own. And you could you can rap over the top of what you've already recorded or beatbox over it or record guitar notes in. Mitch, the audio dabbler, has done a superb video on explaining more stuff about sample bot because people are going to love this, you know. They're going to love it because it's fantastic. So I'm going to quickly do this, look. So if we go, okay, so let's start our track off. Okay, I mean that was total. But you see how fast it is. As soon as you tap a pad, record, record, record. You can record two pads at once if you wanted to, and then edit them. I don't know. Do what you like. It's 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 fantastically versatile. Oh yeah, see, it's super super versatile. Let's see, get there. And now that we have our other ones that we've just recorded, we can bang them in wherever we like. So, okay, so I mean, you get the idea. You're gonna wanna be a bit more, <clears throat> a bit more uh, careful and a bit more tasty with what you're doing. But you get the idea. Now, like I said, you can also use audio bus. You can just open sample bot as the output on audio bus and set up something to record in mitch also covers that in his video as well so you need to check that out right so here's the other super duper cool thing let's go back here now before i get into into something else 
I have this little old ancient uh, iPhone here. Let me turn it on. Okay. Uh, right. And on, you can see that on this I have the uh, sample bot. So let's just open it. Let's sort of open it now. And I set up this little this little thing here, which is like an effect pad thing. So if you're a DJ or you're doing video blogging or anything like this, you can get it to do. Let me just see. My, I think my volume is okay for this. Yeah, I've got this plugged into the mixer as well. Cool, 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 cool. So cool, cool, cool beans. Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to the Santa's room. <laughs> And the cool thing is, I mean, you could do this with this. You just import from audio, share the effects or something. You could set up a whole pad of effects and stingers and sweeps and loops and dips and, and any kind of effects that you want. But if you've got two things, and like I said, if you're DJing or something, you can set up all your effects and stuff, your stingers or your special effects or whatever you like. Now, you're also as well, I'm pretty sure, really not limited to how much you can import, so you can't. I'm not saying that you can import five million hours because your device wouldn't wouldn't allow it, but but you can import a full track. So the good thing is that you can save each prop prop project as a completely separate thing. So it's been auto named abandoned oboe. So we'll call it we'll just call it abandoned, okay? And then we hit save, and then we go to projects here, and you'll see some of the projects. So uh. Testing sample bot here was one I did. Same kind of thing. I imported my little drums again. But I also imported a full length track as well. So if we if we have a look at that, uh, this is the, the full thing sort of thing. Um, So that's a track from me, Colin, and that was the, the whole length. So I wanted to see if I could actually import the full length track. Now it turns out that the full length track was recorded at 100 and B, 120 BPM anyway. So it will just, as you see here, I have uh, the, the full length track at the bottom here. Let's just scroll in so you can see what's going on. I can't uh, get it any smaller than that, but if I go along here, will eventually come to the end and there it is if we go back to the beginning you'll see that i've got it triggering for those two bars there and then it will if i switch the loop on it will loop back after it starts that but it's listen so if i was to extend that to there and then add I can take delete that one delete that one it's not and then it will do the four bar loop thing. Anyway, you get the idea. Sample bot. Just awesome. I think it's on sale at the moment as well if you're watching this new. Yeah, so there you go. But that's the very cool thing. You can build up all this stuff. But then you can have it like, you know, you can have loads and loads of them. Like You're not limited to just one project. You can have tons of these things set up. It's just real. Plus, of course, you can do completely normal songs as well, if that's your thing. All right, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, Please subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video if you liked it, consider becoming a Patreon, it's very cool beans. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Sample bot, Michael Tyson, Tasty Pixel. What can I say? I'll tell you what I, I'll tell you what I can say. Cool beans. Okay, see you later.